Welcome to the Epidemic and the Disaster Management Department that is currently housing the HIV AIDS unit. The department has got two members of staff, Dr. Festus Kelonye, myself, who is the coordinator, and uh, Jacqueline Gethingi, a colleague in the department. We are housed in room ABB 010. The department was formed so as to address the ravaging global incidences of HIV AIDS, among other ailments in the Kibabi University and the other government entities. The objective of the unit is number one, HIV counseling, and the unit has a mission and a vision on HIV AIDS, and our vision is to create an HIV AIDS free community of Kibabi University and well informed and educated people with a clear view of the impacts of HIV AIDS. We also have a mission on how to achieve this. Our mission is to apply and promote a multidisciplinary and a multi-sector approach in dealing with a wide spectrum of HIV and AIDS related issues by effectively developing and facilitating the correct responses for the successful fight against HIV AIDS. And there is and this is within and without Kibabi University. Kibabi University has a response on HIV and AIDS prevention. And on this, we have an HIV work plan policy, which guides our activities here and our core engagement at the university. This policy seeks to, one, confirm the commitment of the university towards the fight against HIV AIDS. Two, it also mitigates the impacts of HIV AIDS at Kibabi University and work study place. Number three, to maintain the dignity of the students affected with HIV AIDS. Four, avoid possible discrimination against the students infected or affected with HIV AIDS. Number five, to ensure that there is confidentiality in handling student matters relating to HIV and AIDS. Six, to ensure that a conducive environment is created so that affected, so that effective learning and working occurs despite the HIV AIDS impact. Number seven, to cultivate a spirit of understanding, compassion and the coexistence of all students in the university with whether or not they are infected, affected by HIV. Eight, also to discourage the students from concealing their HIV status for fear of discrimination or rejection by fellow students or staff members or loss of their studies on account of being HIV positive. So in line with the initiatives, being undertaken by all other stakeholders in fighting HIV AIDS nationally and globally, so that we also contribute in this way. You as a student, whether affected or infected or not affected, have rights. The objectives of the laid down responsibilities to students is to foster an undiscriminatory environment for all students at Kibabi University and to support those of you who may be affected or uninfected or affected by HIV. So therefore, we say that no student applicant may be required to have an HIV uh, test before admission. And I'm sure that that, I'm sure that has happened if nobody was tested before you are admitted to the university. Number two, no student shall be discriminated whatsoever on the basis of their HIV status. The university shall not and does not use HIV status as a basis for granting student loans or bursaries or scholarships or any other support for that matter. Three, also, no student may be required to take an HIV test 
before a field trip or other activities of the university unless under special circumstances that warrant this. Again, student registration should not be terminated on the grounds of their HIV status unless the student is no longer mentally or physically fit to continue with their studies. The results of your HIV status that may be conducted at Kebabi University Medical Facilities shall remain confidential according to the rules of medical ethics. Again, the HIV status of any student shall not be reflected in the non-confidential documents so that no, no one shall come across that. Again, students shall have a right to a supporting and working environment in which persons with HIV AIDS are accepted and are not stigmatized. The university shall provide a learning environment in which the occupation exposure to HIV AIDS is minimized and will provide the necessary protective equipment and safety procedures which include PEP, personal equipment for protection. Students infected with, with HIV AIDS shall have rights to appropriate treatment and medication as per student medical scheme that is laid down by Kebabi University. Students are also have a responsibility which include a responsibility to be informed about their HIV AIDS activities undertaken in the university. Students living with HIV AIDS have a responsibility so as to pose no threat of infection to any other person that they interact with. Students also must respect the right of others. No student shall refuse to work or study with or be housed with other employees or students living with HIV AIDS. No, students who displace, who displace discriminatory attitudes, who, who show discriminatory attitudes towards colleagues living with HIV AIDS will be counseled. We have a counseling unit in the, in the unit. And number six, unless medically justified, no student may have or use their HIV status as a reason for failing to perform work, to study, to complete assignments, or to attend to examinations or field trips, for that matter, or even write examinations. Number seven, it is, it, it is expected that the behavior will be incorporated in the university students' code of conduct for students, and all students will be required to sign a code of conduct when registering for their studies. I hope you have done that as you registered. Students through their peer educators. In the unit, we also have trained the peer educators. And through peer educators, whom you will identify as you stay in the university for the next four years. So through peer educators or the anti-AIDS club that we have, we have shall develop their own student led responses to HIV AIDS. The university will support this kind of initiatives whenever possible. The Kibabi University academic and non-academic staff will endeavor to uphold and have healthy relationships, offer advice to students, and the students on the other hand will act as peer educators on their own and they will in turn uh, and will deal with the HIV and AIDS issues and provide more values and participate in HIV AIDS awareness which we all normally undertake every semester. We also undertake campaigns to prevent um, other ailments in the department. We urge students to participate in these ones and you will be guided by your uh, peer educators. To achieve all this, we have trained the HIV AIDS peer educators. My colleague uh, Jacqueline Kedinji 
and some other students who are peer counselors will talk about HIV AIDS related issues that will follow. Thank you. My name is Jacqueline Kithinji, the HIV and AIDS counselor. Welcome to Kibabi University, where Kuchil is the order of the day. Some of the primary messages that we have include the basic facts on HIV and AIDS, ways to reduce your risk of contracting HIV and AIDS. We also help students on information regarding VCT and STI treatment. Our main agenda is to enhance social behavior change among youths. The HIV and AIDS activities include HIV and AIDS Awareness Week, Chastity and Abstinence Campaign, HIV testing and counseling campaigns. Peer educators have BCCG groups, which include mentorship, drama, reproductive health, just to mention but a few. The peer educators' roles include to facilitate education session to other peers, to make appropriate referrals to professionals, to distribute educational pamphlets and condoms, Monitor and, and monitor and report on progress through paperwork and peer educators debriefing. Lastly, to provide feedback and suggestions on trends. Let's inspire, let's change lives, let's save lives. SEU, Kibabi University. Welcome to Kibabi University. I'm Denis Omailo Kituk, uh, taking Bachelor of Education Arts Combination at Kiswahili CRE. And uh, today I'll be talking about life, campus, and uh, relationship. And uh, I'm under the Department of uh, Epidemic Disaster Management, uh, that is uh, AIDS uh, Control Unit. Welcome. Life on campus and uh, relationship. Campus relationship have been going on for ages, but the challenges are still the same. Being a student, however, offers its own unique set of challenges. And some of these challenges involve feeling overwhelmed by the amount of freedom that uh, living on you, by, by your owner, has to offer. Such as the freedom to date without parental restriction and the availability of alcohol at college parties, among others. For many students, university is their first experience of living on their own. This may tempt many to go wild and reckless without the first, within their first year. Campus seniors are well versed in the hookups, yeah? Okay, does the uh, campus relationship really last? It's only 1% that lasts, as uh, per my experience with the university for the past uh, four years. 99% never last because uh, you date with someone for a semester. When semester ends, it's over. And uh, whenever I'm with you, maybe I'm with a girl, that's when I'm with you, I'm dating you, I'm seducing at that moment, when I just live a little bit, one meter away from you. That means I belong to someone else, I don't belong to you. So you have to choose what, wisely with whom uh, you are dating. And that even, um, especially after most of our quality relationship never last, especially after graduation. Or uh, the moment I leave you and I reach at the gate, I'm over you. And that even lovers whose relationship doesn't survive long enough to see the light of the next semester. People meet at the beginning of a semester, and at the end of it, there are no more. And what are these reasons as to why campus relationship never lasts? It is surprising how people fall in love in mysterious ways, especially in campus, while. Uh, well, for me, it took four months or uh, I think three months to locate Dean's office, but it only took a week for my friend to find his girlfriend. My friend, when he just receives a call from uh, his girlfriend, that's when he will know the room immediately, immediately effect, but uh, he will keep on reminding me, bro, if you my class, the father will be able to I might be sounding like a, a romantic veteran, but yeah, but if we are taking some time to connect to people, I need to know what I'm dealing with in the first place, and that means taking more time than just a week. 
College is a place where people have freedom to try a lot of things. They will do a, they will do it at home. Even the well-raised Christian boys and girls can have the freedom to test what is certain patterns of behavior, partying, dancing, drinking, and staying out late nights. I remember during my first year, I was uh, staying with a um, CU chairperson at HB2 room, uh, room 51. Huh? And uh, they could work me up and tell me, bro, and say, turn the church, like, I mean, I say, man, to learn next time, to learn next time. But uh, once, one Sunday, they just, um, well, if you want to make a bro, then you can say, I can't say, at that moment when I was in a drawer, I'm CA, when they were doing praise and worship, it was a African, uh, it was an African attire day, and they, they were singing African song. That's when I was praising God, moving right center, then I spotted a girl, and then I put her and did everything just to make her feel happy. And after the service, I went and gave her, I said, help me with her number. Then she gave me and immediately after that and asked me the reason as to why I want her number. And I told her, I want to be your friend and many more. So at that moment, I got a good from Mr. Yangu, Kujikuma. And after that, the girl denied me the chance and say that you said friendship, but uh, I had used uh, in the brackets, uh, any and many more. So at uh, the end, uh, Ilikosa, because I had lost my priorities and uh, I needed to remain to be a friend to her. And college is where everything literally become, uh, you become an adult, adult. Even after you uh, to Bukusu cultures, after you have been circumcised, you say you are a real man, an African man, but when you're here in campus, my friend, a relationship doesn't know if you are a man and or an adult, adult enough. You have to follow the process and uh, just do what uh, you are sent here to do. College uh, has a lot of challenges, one of them being maintaining relationship. And the college relationships are hard. There are many relationship failures. Most of college relationships never last, especially after graduation. Now, before I tell you of the reasons why college and relationship fail, I must first admit of having two relationship failures while at college. I was, I am, I was really struggling to comprehend this, why it happened, because uh, I, had a, yeah, I had a girlfriend uh, studying from another university. And uh, I was uh, here at Kibabi University, I was a uh, second year at that moment, and I had a girl who, who was in love with my art and uh, he decided to join drama and uh, he couldn't cope up well with the drama and then, then the, she decided that uh, I can be out but uh, I'm still in love with you. And I said, wow, that's amazing. And then after, afterwards, we, we exchanged and uh, we became good friends and eventually we fell. I fell in love with her after she said that she has got a crush on me. Then afterwards, I, uh, it was my girlfriend who was studying from another university. Uh, it was her birthday and I had blocked her so that uh, I could uh, have both of them. So before I could even, uh, I posted before I could uh, block her. So she viewed the first person and uh, the girl uh, packed her things and she went back to her room crying. And um, after that, uh, the girl, um, my, the first girlfriend who is uh, studying from another university came back to my room. And uh, the other girl who was with me, who went back to her room uh, from Kibabi, uh, she was having my clothes. And then uh, at that, on, on that day, we were, Manchester United was playing. And I had gone to watch football match and I had switched my phone and left it to charge in the house. So when I went back, before I could reach my room, my friend uh, told me, bro, and they couldn't work. What? So I wondered, what was it? Me me waka. So he told me that, uh, hey, your girlfriend was here. And uh, before she could enter into the house, I got her to my house so that I could come to the house. Eventually, the, the girl said that I want to go there said, to give her uh, Omaira's uh, clothes and 
just speaking eventually. After that, he found my other girlfriend in the house, and uh, he gave her, she gave her the clothes. And then the girl uh, went to work. When I came back, uh, he just gave me food, and we slept like brothers and sister that night. And the following day, she went back to school. I think there's a story of another day. It ended badly. Back to our topic. These are the most reasons as to why college is a relationship. Most of them, of course, never last. College men are boys and girls are girls. Adults with adolescent minds. One of the reasons why college is a relationship never lasts is when two adults with adolescent minds fall in love. College is, a, is an experimental period. People get lost into many life stuff. Men just want to be boys. They want to have fun. They want to date every girl. They come across commitment is an alien term, term to them. And girls are arrogant. Slay queens who doesn't even know your middle name, easily swayed by tribal things. Fancy presents like smartphone, dinner offers. They don't know what they look for in a month. So apparently, just uh, kids in love, it's hard to have a successful relationship with someone with uh, an adolescent mind. Because, uh, I, by the way, in fact, thank you for Professor Idel Ibarra for bringing the sports uh, complex. Because now it was operational core, boy child. Now we can't spend more enough money to our girlfriend when they call us, we just tell them, let us meet at the sport complex. You have a little uh, zero net budget whereby at least a comrade, a boy, uh, the boy child can save uh, his money. And most relationships in campus are hookups, friends with benefits. Some relationships are not uh, built onto solid, meaningful grounds. There are hookups, no real dates. When your roommate is having a girlfriend and a girlfriend has a friend, that means you could easily get connected to that friend of yours, roommate's girlfriend, and make it as a boyfriend and a girlfriend too. And Najo Mishanga could begin an exile. Come on, the people exile, say, just pray, it's meaning you are safe from now. And uh, I met uh, I met a certain group of girls uh, first year uh, we joined recently uh, last week, and uh, <coughs> uh, I heard them conversing, saying that um, have you already got uh, some plan? Umesha kutena na makrash, umesha kuta crash wangapi. Then I'm gonna kasi mami umesha kuta crash wili. Oh, wangapi. We start in a story of makrash. We make kujia kuso kuso. I just passed the laugh and I say so. Who is that? Who is that? Who is from? But this is campus. Relationship are there, and you can't avoid them. A man will come with everything. A boy will come with everything that he has and convince him. And sexual hookups are not guaranteed to last long. It only involves two people. Two people. The affair only involves the lovers who just met at college. No parents or uh, close relatives that are aware of the affair. Since the important part, I mean, uh, like parents and the community is not involved, it means lovers uh, has not taken the affair on a serious level. They are still testing waters, and there are chances one can decide to walk out of the relationship with or without reasons because he or she has nothing, nothing to lose or that doesn't have to answer to parents or relatives who will ask for prison or or breakup. Uh, These breakups, uh, it will bring about uh, depressions, uh, you will be crying, it will affect your academic life. So you have to take heart. If uh, you receive a breakup, move on, move on with life. Just focus on the purpose that brought you here at Kibabu University. Taking a relationship to parents and relatives means lovers are Serious. So if you decide to introduce the, the person whom uh, you have met today, as you say that uh, we are in Katia and we are falling in love with uh, him or her. So let um, people who are responsible know that uh, you are taking responsibility and uh, another step uh, in life. And um, your affair is clouded by school activities, assignment tests, discussions. Yeah, 
will meet different types of relationship in the campus. Uh, utapata ule mtu wa hit and run, utapata akad, in academic relationship, a romantic um, romance relationship, blah blah blah. Ma una ule mtu atakuwa anamkumbusha relationship ya unamkumbusha kuna class all sorts of relationship. And it is easy for a partner to dodge into school excuses than uh, working on improving your relationship patterns of your affairs around pain. You don't even get to discuss the aftermath of your relationship after school is over. With students' loans or uh, parents' money back in your pockets, you don't have to worry much about finance. So you all think you can handle a relationship, but when school is over, there's too much responsibility and neither of you have prepared for that. So money issues affect us. So you decide that uh, you want to try it, you want to buy each other fancy gifts during uh, Valentine's and blah, blah, blah. And eventually if you stop, it, uh, that immediately calls for breakup. Money issues in college fellas are generally, generally broke. Well, with the exception of few guys uh, from privileged family, the thing is, uh, is some people are quick to run when their affairs get into their narrow budget to say some people so to say some people I mean men and some girls who blame a man for not giving them some money as if that guy is uh is big gates or uh, Zugabag, eh? sugar is it sugar bag uh, the one of uh, WhatsApp huh? this uh, this is where a relationship starts to shake and because the de- uh, de- de- departure jealousness and uh, insecurity another one is jealous and insecurity and this immature Possessive lovers who want to know every move of their partners, giving endless complaints based on assumption and rumors. These type of behaviors make an innocent partner to pull away. It's college life, baby. No one wants to nurse an insecure partner. We just move on. And most of the college lovers are not mature enough to deal with deep emotional issues of an insecure partner. They simply run away. So when you have issues uh, amongst yourself and you decide that uh, I should just call off all this relationship. And then uh, there's uh, another reason is uh, graduation. Uh, this is for the year students. Uh, imagine for your information, you are making this for the years to finish. Immediately they finish their paper, they come back to your rooms. So that um, there being another elder is uh, other elders are taking you away. So immediately they finish one paper, they come to your room after that, they go to their room after that, they go back to class. I don't know if they are focusing on their exam or the, are they focusing on you. So graduation. Graduation is a killer of quality relationship because uh, you have been uh, there for four years, you have interacted with different girls, uh, different men from different race, religion, culture. But after graduation, you're going to different areas. So, will that relationship still last? And after the school is over, lovers who came from different regions and only, only met at university have to deal with distance relationship, which is really hard uh, these days. Suppose your girlfriend or boyfriend uh, used to cheat on you while you are together. What will they do now that you are far away from each other? These kinds of uncertainties can make one partner to decide to move on after the school is over, a new chapter of life begins. And if lovers were not prepared for this, it means end of the story. I'm not saying this is to scare you from finding the love of your life as you buzzed. In fact, there are many couples who started out from university but if your relationship didn't make it, it's fine. Things happen. Despite that, we are now not together. You can be thankful for what the two of you have shared and the personal growth that has resulted from your affair. Welcome to Kibabu University. My name is Susan Hotenge. I'm a third year student, a peer educator in the Department of Epidemic and Disaster Management. Today, I'm going to talk about correct and consistent use of condom. 
First, I'll start by defining what a condom is. As you all know, a condom is a type of contraceptive. It's a thin fit tube worn on the penis during sex for the males or inserted into the vagina for the females. Condoms are used to prevent pregnancies, STIs, HIVs, because they create a barrier that keeps the semen and other body fluids from mixing. When using a condom, don't use the male and the female condom at the same time. There are so many types of condoms, which include the latex or plastic condom, the duplicated condom, spermicide con coated condom, textured condom, but the most used one is the latex condom. How to use the male condom. So I will have a demonstration on how to use the, the male condom. So a male condom looks like this. It has two parts, the serrated part and the, the plain part. So if you want to use the male condom, you first check the expiry date of the, of the condom. Like ours here, the expiry date is 4th, 2025, meaning it's safe for use. And then you, you carefully open the wrapper from the serrated part. So you tear from the serrated part. You will pull out something like this. It has two sides, the inner one and the outer one. So when you want to use the, the condom, just make sure you wear it on a fully erected penis. So I have a model, a sample of our erected penis here. So you make sure it's erected fully and then you pull, you insert. Holding at the tip and then you pull up to the top. Make sure there is space at, at the front here without air. This, is, this space allows for the penis, this space for the penis that will be, will be released during sexual ejaculation. So this is how to wear the male condom. After use, that's after sex, you, you pull out the female condom carefully. You roll slowly and carefully. Make sure you don't tear the condom with the nails because when the sperm spit, you can get infections or even HIV and AIDS or pregnancy. After you have, you have rolled out the condom, you tie So after tying, and then you dispose of carefully in either the rental cleanse for the females or the pit latrine. Don't use the washrooms or loose because it blocks. And then how to use the female condom. I have also a model of the female condom. This is a model of our female sexual organ, and this is the female condom. This type of ours is chocolate flavor, flavor. And so the female condom also has two sides, the plain part and the serrated part. And for the female condom, it is indicated where to tear. Like there is a, a line here where you are supposed to cut. So you tear the female condom carefully. And then something that will come out to be like this, it has two rings, the outer ring and the inner ring. The outer ring is larger than the inner ring. So to wear the female condom, the girl or the woman should squat or lift one leg to, to a chair or a bed and then like tie the like make a figure eight of the inner ring the smaller one like figure eight like this one and then you insert carefully and slowly and make sure the the, the you feel like the inner ring 
is rested to the cervix and then the outer ring remains outside like this so for the advantage of the female condom is that it can be used for so many shots and also one precaution for the female condom is you wear it like one hour before sexual activity to prevent to make sure that the condom adapts with the body temperature of the female and then after sex if you want to remove the female condom you twist you twist or oh, one thing i'm forgetting if you are wearing the female condom and maybe you want to release yourself you just pull aside release yourself and then you cover again so for the female condom if you are done with your sexual activities you just tie it like maybe twice twist twice and then pull carefully out it will come out automatically and then you tie it also after tying you dispose of correctly to the ventral cleans in the washrooms or the pit latrines or the dust bins or as just a safe place to dispose of that's the end of how to use the female and the male condoms for more information on this visit our department in abb010 or for if you want to talk to a peer counselor visit abb010 or contact us i just take this opportunity to welcome you to kibabi university stay safe and looking forward to interacting with you more thank you welcome it's a uh, good afternoon and uh, i'm going to talk about drug use in relation to hiv and aids first let us define what is drug a drug is any chemical substance that uh, causes a change in an organism for physiology or uh, in a psycho or psychological when uh, consumed and drugs are always abused so what is a drug abuse is an excessive use of uh, psychoactive drugs such as alcohol and pain medication or illegal drugs and drugs uh, drug abuse can lead to physical social or emotional harm drugs of abuse uh, plays a major role in increasing risk of hiv transmission diseases progressions and less are there uh, to the significantly contributed for mobility mobility and uh, morality of hiv infected hiv continues to spread rapidly among people who use illicit drugs and this type of illicit drugs associated with hiv transmission are uh, amphetamine type uh, stimulated uh, this is stimulated the use of uh, amphetamine type stimulated by men who have sex with men have been associated with a high level of hiv infection we have uh, crack cocaine this has been associated with sexual transmission of hiv especially in sex work and other forms of uh, transactional sex we have uh, opioid opioid uh, opioid abuse increases hiv diseases progression by affecting host immune function promoting the virus entry into immune cells and replication and it also causes severe neurocognitive disorder and also have alcohol alcohol uses disorders in, uh, in more in more common uh, it's common in people in person living with aids rates of heavy drinking are even higher and viral load and lower adherence in uh, adherence we have uh, cigarettes they prevalence of cigarette smoking range from uh, 40 to 75% in hiv infected individual compared to 20% in general uh, population we have uh, nicotine nicotine is active ingredient in tobacco and considered one of the most addictive drug of all time and reported to dysregulate synaptic plasticity in hiv exposed Neuro, n- neuronal cells and uh, how does uh, uh, how does drug affect hiv epidemic drug abuse and uh, addiction have been ex- uh, inextricably linked with the uh, hiv and aids since the beginning of epidemic drug abuse also plays more generally in spread of hiv by increasing likelihood of uh, 
high risk, uh, high risk sex with the infected partner. The effect of many drugs can alter judgment and inhibition and lead people to engage in uh, impulsive and unsafe behavior. Also, people who are abusing or addicted to drugs may engage in sexually risky behavior to obtain drugs or uh, money for drugs. And nearly a quarter of uh, AIDS can stem from uh, intervious drug use. So, drug use uh, is not a good thing uh, in our society, whereby we are being mentored to take care of ourselves and uh, drugs uh, try to put our immune down or try to deteriorate our bodies and, and it gives us a different deformation of our body. Drugs are bad. You will meet them in this campus, wherever in each corner that uh, you will be. During uh, campus nights, you will see people smoking bang, having thought cocaine. The part when you set up doma, which is not good, it affects your health. And when the moment it affects your health, it will make you have a bad decision making, poor decision making. You, you might engage in, a, in an activity that uh, it's not good or uh, it might risk your body and uh, uh, without use of, without use of uh, drugs, maybe you may, might end up uh, having, uh, getting uh, early pregnancies or uh, having in, be, being infected with uh, HIV and AIDS, gonorrhea, all those of all, all those STIs. So please take care of yourself, be responsible, and avoid using of uh, drugs. Choose your friends wisely. This is Campus. Thank you very much.